You're watching clips, the best moments from our live streams every Monday and Friday. Don't miss out. Watch it. Now, before we get to the video, we have some stunning news to share from Telemundo. That's right, Telemundo poll general election amongst Latino voters. Harris 54% plus 14, Trump at 40%. It's a 14% difference. Why does that matter? Well, it is terrible news for the Democrats. 2012 plus 44. Go on up to 2020, plus 33. Over a 12-year shift, you go from plus 44 to plus 14. Now, you see why they are losing the Latino vote. And we are going to give you now an example of what not to do in courting the Latino vote. There's a Latino belt in a certain part of Pennsylvania, and we're going to let this video speak for itself. Going back to celebrity Let's just let this video speak for itself, guys. Uh, Linda, Linda, you know what? Let's let's, let's speak. We got the volume. Okay, here we go. So I just got back from a Kamala Harris rally, and it was all about Latinos. And the first thing that I saw was this Hummer that was blasting reggaeton. They actually even flew out two super famous Puerto Rican actors. And I looked around, and it was all white people. Actually, at one point, I went up to this woman who had dark hair, and I was like, are you Latina? And she was like, I'm Italian. And that's kind of how it went all day. I did manage to speak to probably about five Latino voters and uh, one city official I spoke to guessed that there were probably less than 50 Latinos there out of about 1,500 attendees. The Latino belt, which is made up of counties like Northampton, Berks, Luzerne, is really important, especially to the Harris campaign. And the director of Hispanic media for the Harris campaign told me it's going to be really tight. You know, it's going to come down to the wire. Like in 2020, Northampton County, which is where the rally actually was, Mm -hmm. Biden won by less than 2,000 votes. And so they're really out there fighting for every vote. And in the words of the first Latina president of Allentown City Council, Okay. We don't have this in the bag yet. I'm Olivia Reingold. If you want to read my dispatch from the Latino belt in Pennsylvania, you can check it out at. Okay. All right. So, uh, okay. Uh, What does Linda have? uh, She's the one who posted this. What did she say here? Uh, Watch reporter says she attended a Harris rally in PA that was all about Latinos. But when she looked around, it was all white people. Uh, She says she managed to speak to maybe five Latinos. City Hall said they were about less than 50 at the rally. And all right. Well, uh, okay. I just got back from a Kamala Harris rally, and it was all about Latinos. And the first thing that I saw was this Hummer that was blasting reggaeton. Okay. So uh, here's a problem right here. Okay. Not every Latino likes reggaeton, but let's say they all do, and you got a bunch there. How can you talk about anything of substance with that music being played so loud? <laughs> Ow! Hey, give me a vote. That don't make no sense. But, you know, uh, uh, you know like you guys, uh, listen, at the, at the Dodger game, they, they, they play a wide variety of Latino music because they know their audience. And the audience is like just having a good time, want the Dodgers to win, different types of music, reggaeton, Mexican regional, boom, boom, boom. Here, I, 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 I would have uh, put it on low, maybe put some boleros on because boleros seem to be more kind of like... Uh, boleros and some like son some soft salsa and you know that's easy uh, easy on the eyes not easy on the ears nothing too cr- too crazy put on low put on the background and talk talk to voters how about that okay how about that i'm marking some (laughs) 
uh, uh, Los Doyers. PA doesn't want her. Ace, member of the channel. Baza. Can't stand reggaeton. It is one of the few genres I can't stand. Uh, listen, I'm with you, but uh, women love it. And when you're dancing and in the club, I'm a fan of it. But yeah, other than that, it can be a, it can be a, it can be pretty bad. Yeah, boleros. I'm telling you, man, put them in the background. See, I'm already giving the the Harris campaign uh, um, some good pointers here. Okay. They actually even flew out two super famous Puerto Rican actors. Okay. Can you name these two super famous Puerto Rican actors? Go. There's one. There's the other. Two super famous Puerto Rican actors. Can you name them? And I think I actually think one of them's Dominican. But it does it does it doesn't really matter because <laughs> right right and, and i like I, li I like those actors i mean i know them because latino slant that's what we cover no not jane it's not john so that's the first one is anthony ramos from uh twisters hamilton he was in twisters he was in in the heights he's the lead of in the heights very talented man i think he's fantastic but is he super famous? Come on. You got you, none of you guys in, in the chat knew who he was by name, right? The fellowship calls me, have a super week. All right, you too. You too. And then the other one just won an Emmy for the bear. I think her, her name is Liza Zaya something. Here she's great. I believe both of these guys are, are, are from New York. So super famous Puerto Rican actors. It's like, it's kind of a weird description. But who who's their crowd? This is their crowd? Actually, at one point, I went up to this woman <laughs> with dark hair. And I was like, what? <laughs> what are you looking What? The... <laughs> All right. Hey. One All point right. I went up to this woman. And dark... you're wondering why you guys are having a, a Latino voting problem. Hair. Good God. Ah. Hey, if they're all Latinos, then, my, then I, I apologize. I apologize. Yes. I am discriminating against all these fair skinned complected Latinos. <laughs> oh my lord. It's a team, it's a team who Benicio the Toro. <laughs> you know what? Manolo Benicio was actually from is actually from from he's puerto rican but he's actually from pennsylvania that would have been smart but he i don't think he's gonna do any of that stuff wow wow oh lordy and you wonder why they're having problems guys so yeah uh the latino belt there either way that's a terrible absolutely terrible outreach program that is garbage.